This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Jack Threads. Coming up on Destructoid, the 3DS is bursting into flames, Assassin's Creed Revelation Beta is hitting the PS3, and Skyrim shows us its dark side. Stay tuned for all this and more. Welcome to Destructoid. I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. Happy Wednesday, Max. Yeah, seriously. It's, I was going to tell you. Well, thank you for asking. I was on Epic Meal Time yesterday eating a fistful of ostrich meat. It was delicious, and I have absolutely no regrets about the matter. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions on Twitter, people asking like if they actually eat the meals that create. And I'm told that they do, that they often save them and have them for like lunch and dinner for a week, but we had to throw the ostrich meal out because Muscles Glasses is a bit of a slobber. Anyway, let's get started on today's news, huh? That was fun. Oh, look at that. Someone said something about you, about how you're hot on the oh, camera and internet nice. thing. <laughs> yeah, if I thought our YouTube commenters were bad, you should see Epic Meal Times. I, I'll, 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 I love I'll you guys, pass. by the way, but seriously, who? Yeah. Okay, let's get started on today's news. A big congratulations to Hamza and everyone else at Destructoid who annihilated EA's origin team in the Battlefield Bad Company 2 match yesterday. Great job, guys. Thank you for proving once and for all that we are better than everyone else. Yep, we're the champs. Yeah. of the internet. Seriously though, they did a great job and we won 20 codes for uh, Nice, so that's probably for giving away later. Yeah, so maybe you guys will yeah. take the benefits we'll of that. We'll keep you posted on that. So, if you've been on the fence about buying a 3DS, go to your nearest Walmart or Target immediately and see if you can find a 3DS in stock and if you can, buy it. Because from now until tomorrow at midnight, you're going to be able to buy the 3DS for the reduced price of $170. You're going to be able to do that early and you'll still qualify for Nintendo's ambassador program, which doesn't technically kick in until August 12th, um, which is when the price was originally supposed to drop. But if you connect your 3DS to the eShop early, you can get those games. So you save 80 bucks, you get 20 free games, and everyone wins, even Nintendo, because they're selling 3DSs, and they desperately <laughs> yeah. need that right now. It was actually reported originally that only Walmart was going to be selling it early, but then I saw a tweet this morning from good old Machinima's Adam Kovic. Oh, I love Adam. He hosts their Inside Gaming show. He said, looks like Target is dropping the 3DS price early. I'd be lying if I wasn't a little jealous of that, but... Yeah, yeah. I want one. I know. I want, I want $170 too. to buy a video game thingy. Yeah, too bad, you know, we talk about video games for a living. Anyway, it's probably safe to assume that the price has been dropped at every Target, but you might call your local one just to make sure first, and to make sure that they have any in stock at all, because from what I hear, people are snatching them up like babies. That's just what I heard. Your baby snatcher. Yeah, people snatch babies. People yeah. who aren't me. Anyway, while we're on the subject of the 3DS, if you wait until September 9th in North America, you can get this hot new color, Flame, Flame Red. Red. Flame Red. Um, this actually used to be used in like every 3DS commercial ever, but for some reason they never released it until now. I think Nintendo's kind of hoping that it'll help boost their holiday sales. Well, that and the price drop. It's and maybe put them back on the map Claus. a little bit. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of the aqua blue color that they have, and I'm not a huge fan of the red. So I'd probably still go with the Cosmo Black. And I, I have to say, I wish Nintendo was a little more like Apple in their design decisions because the iPod had like, what, six or seven different colors? And they were good colors too. Yeah. Where's my chartreuse green, Nintendo? Where's my marigold? What about that hot pink? Yeah. You know what? I hate hot pink, but if they made a hot pink 3DS, every single Japanese girl between the ages of 12 and 17. Oh, that's would buy true. One. No, no. I've every I've, every Asian girl I've every dated. Every girl, period, between yeah. the ages but of no, 12 I've, and 17. I've, like, Asian girls love pink 3DSs. I don't know why. Like, I, seriously, they all they all have the pink DS. It's just I a don't standard, get it standard issue. I don't know. It looks like a thing you'd keep like birth control in anyway. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> oh, Max. Yeah. Um, by the way, so far on our Facebook poll, only a small amount of you are saying that you would buy the 3DS at its new low price. If you haven't voted on our poll, why don't you go over to our Facebook page at yeah. facebook.com slash show and let your voices be heard. Yeah, go do that. And tell us you like us too because we're yeah, insecure. Yeah, this is a you know, community-driven yeah. show. So. so anyway. Uh, the worst part for me about reporting on Assassin's Creed news is resisting the urge to just shout, Ass Creed Bros! Which is funny a few times, but then it's kind of played out, but it is really fun to say. Anyway, some bad news for fans of the series who have 360s. The multiplayer beta is going to be a PlayStation 3 exclusive. Between September 3rd and 11th, members of PlayStation Plus and Uplay will get to test drive this awesome game about Italian ninjas dressed up in hilarious outfits. The beta will feature the following characters. The Sentinel! The Vanguard, the Guardian, the Vizier, the Thespian, the Deacon, 
the bombardier, the trickster, and the champion. I had a re I had so much fun picking out those pictures. <laughs> anyway, there will be there will be three maps. There'll be Knight, Knights Hospital, Antioch, Constantinople, and the modes of play will be Wanted, Manhunt, Deathmatch, and Artifact Assault. So if you have a PS3 and you like Assassin's Creed, go and get the beta or whatever. Um, I know our producer is chomping at the bit to get back in Ezio's pants because he's like that. What about you guys? Uh, let me know in the in the comments. Are you my Ass Creed Bros? Will you be my Ass Creed Bros? Can we be Ass Creed Bros together? Leave comments. <laughs> anyway, uh, the full Assassin's Creed Revelations will be out on November 15th for 360, PS3, and PC. Tara, you played the... Uh, you played I the... did play the Manhunt mode, Ooh. which they had on display at E3 this year, and it was actually a lot of fun. Tara Long, yeah. Hunter of Men. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> oh. Hey. You uh, sell yourself short, my dear. No, I'm a huge dork. Um, anyway, I've got some good news for people who might have been worried that Capcom would be abandoning the Mega Man franchise, because it looks like they're not. Capcom's Christian Svensson spoke out recently about speculation that Mega Man might be dead, saying, quote, we get questions like, are you guys trying to kill the brand? No, absolutely not. It'll continue to be a very important brand for us. I wish I had something I could hold and display for you that shows that that's the case, but I don't right now. But super, super important to us. I do want to express that. He also talked about the cancellation of Mega Man Legends 3, saying that its cancellation was not a decision that was made lightly, but one that needed to be made nonetheless. So, who knows, you know, maybe we'll see a Mega Man game at next year's E3 or something, but we we'll probably won't hear anything for the rest of this year. And yeah. you know what? I'm okay with that, because we've got so much good stuff coming. Yeah, this, this is a, it's a busy year. Yeah. Anyway, um, last two episodes talked about Skyrim, and I didn't hear anybody complaining, so as long as there's news about Skyrim, hey. I'm going to cover that news. Get it, girl. Yeah, and if you have a problem with this Skyrim news, you can direct all the complaints to up your ass. Oh, Because I don't care. He's getting Skyrim tired banks is on awesome. you. He's yeah. getting the, the next one. I'll do the Z-snap. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, today Bethesda unveiled a screenshot of a Dark Elf, which is the first look at a member of the Dunmer race. And it's it's definitely a step up from how the Dark Elves looked in Oblivion. You, you can see that there. <laughs> this is a response to a survey of fans who said that they wanted to see a Dark Elf the most, even more than an Argonian. Argonians are lizard men. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? I'm, so, I'm sorry. If you're given the option of a goth elf or a man who is a lizard, you pick the fucking lizard man. I'm, I'm a little bit biased because I've always, I've always hated um, dark elves or night elves or drow or moraquendi or whatever you want to call them. I mean, regular elves are pretty lame to begin with, and I don't care if they're good at magic. They're a bunch of whimsical, snooty pantywaists who have like pointy ears and very pretty hair. And making them evil does not make them cooler. Now, if you made goblins a playable race, you've got my attention. So that's our Skyrim news. Wow, that a was informative. picture of an elf. Back to you, Tara! I have to say, I, I, I kind of agree with you, though. Elves are kind of lame. I kind of regret making my WoW character a blood elf. Oh god, like, you're gonna talk about WoW. Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna okay, talk- Okay, okay, no, uh, you know what? Thank our sponsor. Uh, word for our sponsor. <laughs> Only suckers pay full price. And if you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate, hate wasting all your cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping club for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at prices that will melt your brain out of your head. <gasps> now, normally there is a wait list to join, but if you head to jackthreads.com slash destruct, you'll get instant access to all the killer hookups, and you can go do that right now. You dress quite nice, don't you, Max? Thank you. I'm a dapper dandy and a yeah. coxcomb of a gentleman. You could probably um, find clothes similar to yours at Jack Threads. You quite possibly could. So you guys remember Bungie, the guys who made that Halo game that one time? The one with the Master Chiefs? What's a Halo? Uh, yeah. Uh, so since 343 Industries is handling Halo for Microsoft now, Bungie has been working on something very top secret that's going to be published by Activision. Now, we have absolutely no clue what the thing is going to be about. Bungie did just uh, trademark two different mysterious phrases, such as be brave and the word destiny. Yeah, we yeah. learned recently that you can just trademark You can trademark a word. anything. Um, now, these words don't really reveal uh, anything at all, uh, but there's a good chance we'll be hearing more of them in the coming months. Bungie just celebrated their 20th anniversary at the beginning of the month, and they released a behind-the-scenes documentary called Oh Brave New World. The folks over at uh, Misraya Solutions have gone through this video with a fine-tooth comb and pointed out everything that might possibly be a clue about the next game. And these guys are ridiculously thorough. They noticed in a screenshot of a terrain editor that it, it's called Grognok which is apparently a word that Bungie copyrighted way back in May, 
and for which they also own the domains grognock.com, .net, and .org. So I don't know if that's their editor or what the story there is. There go my website yeah, plans. So much for my prog rock band, Grognock. <laughs> Um, one of the files that they're working on is it uses the word Tiger, which has been rumored to be a project's working title. And later in the documentary, some screens are shown off. Now, these aren't new screens. They were actually shown off back in 2009 during a presentation on lighting research, but it's very possible that they are something from the new game. And finally, this is the really exciting part. Are you ready for it? We see a, a thing that might be a logo for this new mysterious game. You see it? <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. There's Hold so on to your depth to seats. this image. Yeah, so this is a mystery. And we're definitely going to keep you posted on this project as news comes up. And if you want the full nitpicking analysis, go check out uh, Miss Raya Solutions' blog post. Or watch the Oh Brave World, Brave New World Bungie documentary thingy they did. It's on YouTube and it's uh, like an hour long and it's free to watch, so go do that. New IPs are always fun to report on oh. because you want to talk about them, but you don't know anything about them yet. And all you have to work on sometimes is just one screenshot. Oh, no, it's and like in the case of this, it's like nothing. Yeah. So this game could really be about anything. We have no yeah. idea. Anyway, I have a public service announcement, everyone. The single-player demo for Driver SF is officially up on Xbox Live and PSN as of yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the multiplayer demo is going to be coming out next Tuesday, but sad news, do not expect to see one for PC. Ubisoft told Rock Paper Shotgun that there are currently no plans for a PC demo, which is pretty much the cherry on top of the shit cake that Ubisoft served to its PC gamers earlier this month when they announced the return of their online-only DRM. You guys probably haven't forgotten about that yet. Either way, if you've got an Xbox or a PS3, then it's probably worth you know your time to check out the demo. It's free after all. The full game comes out on September 6th in North America and September 2nd in Europe. And our producer would like us to know that the demo for Madden ah, 12 God. is now available. Ah, um, so football. download away and start getting ready for fantasy drafts and footballs. He keeps adding things about sports into the script. It's terrible. Yeah, we try to stop it. Disgusting. Him. But yeah, that's, anyway, um, let's let's wrap this thing up. Before you go, why not have a listen to this week's Podtoid? It came out today, and it features myself, and Max Scoville here, as well as Destructoid editors Jim Sterling and Jonathan Holmes. Shit talking for two hours every week. If you've never listened to it before, the main topic of this week's podcast was pterodactyl porn. So that should give you yep. a pretty good idea. And that's what, what I drew on the desk. Like. I like drawing things. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a we have fun. It's yeah, really stupid. We have fun with it. Um, also, if you like fun things, you should tune in this Friday to our live show, which is going to be at 3:30 p.m. Pacific time, 6:30 p.m. Eastern, or 11:30 p.m. GMT. And it's going to be on YouTube, um, youtube.com slash detoid, and also in HD on revision3.com slash watch. So tune in. We're going to have another contest. and Maybe um, even two. Oh, my goodness. Contest. Yeah. So many contests. Uh, but yeah, tune in for that, and you can talk to us, and we'll be reading your things live on the, on the air. Yeah. Um, and also follow us on Twitter. I'm, I'm at Max Scoville. She's at Tara Longus. She does not need new followers. Yes, And our I do. show is at Detoid Show. So have a great night, guys. Yeah, live show, Friday. Remember, we'll see you guys then.